What's up people, Tatan Suleta here and today we're going to talk about a piece of software that I just got my hands on and it's going to help you out with your color grading and your luminosity masks on Photoshop while you're retouching. So let's get to it. A very good friend of mine and fellow brand ambassador for Pulse Buff, Nino Batista. He came up with a group of extensions for Photoshop called the MVP tools. There are different tools in this pack. There's one for frequency separation, which is one of the techniques that you use on high-end retouching. And there's another two which I'm gonna be talking about today. One of those is the MVP Color Map X, and the other one is the MVP LumiZone. So what does the MVP Color Map X do. It will analyze your image and it will create a gradient map based on the colors that the software analyzes, which is very interesting because you can actually sample colors from any image you want. Let's say you're watching a movie and you just like how its, it's color scheme is built. You can take a frame, open your program, and that will analyze it and will create a swatch based on that image. You can also analyze your actual image and create a gradient map based on that. Now, LumiZone is a little bit more complex. LumiZone will analyze your image, split your histogram in 10 different zones. Just think about Ansel Adams' uh, zone system. And it will create a mask based on the zones that you select. So, in order for us to understand this, let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so here we are inside Photoshop. I've opened this image of this beautiful model and over here you can see I've got the MVP frequency separation control, I've got the MVP LumiZone and I've got the MVP color map X. Now this is very simple, it's very straightforward, it's nothing very hard to uh, understand how it works but this is the thing. Here you got the samples of the amount of colors that the program is going to be getting out of your images. So here you can put one, two, three, five, ten, whatever the case, and then you can change your mode. It could be even either document or file. If you go to document, this will analyze your actual image and create a palette of colors based on your image. If you go to file and you cl click analyze, then what it will do is it will allow you to open any image you want. Uh, you'll just uh, select the picture you want to select. You can press open and then that will create a palette based on the image that you just used to sample. Now afterwards, you just have to go over here on the three dots and click apply color grading and it will create a gradient map on your image. Now there's also, let's delete this for a second. Now there's also another option over here which is black and white protection. So, Besides the colors that your uh, program is analyzing from the image, it will also add black and white points. So you're always safe on that side. So once you've done that, you can always go to apply color grading and it will create a different gradient map. This time, it will add the black and white points to keep them safe as true colors. Now, remember I told you that we were going to talk about two different extensions within the pack that Nino built. The other one is called the LumiZone. Now the LumiZone, as you can see, it will analyze the whole histogram and based on that, it will create, it will divide it in zones. Now let's say that uh, I really want to add this color to blacks and shadows and leave the rest of the image intact. Like I don't want it to create any more effects or the green map that I've just created, I don't want it to affect midtones and up. So, based on what I'm seeing here in the Lummi Zone program, I can click here in one, zone one, zone zero, and zone two, and that will create a mask based on those zones that I uh, just selected. Now. Keep in mind that you'll have to tweak it to get to the point that you really uh, wanted it to work. But you can always select different type of um, uh, 
you can always select different type of zones and fine tune it until you get to the point where you really like it, how it's looking. So once you've selected that, it will create the mask on its own. And there you have it. If we zoom in, we can see how this is affecting some areas of the image, especially just the rocks, uh, some parts of the bikini. Now you won't see a change in color here on the dark side of, or the darker parts, darker areas, very actually black colors of uh, the picture because when we created our gradient, that gradient had the black and white save points. Remember we talked about that? So it won't be a huge change in that part of the image. Now that's using the gradient that we already created with uh, the color map X from the pack of tools. Now what if we just use our regular uh, color grading techniques? Let's say we're gonna go with our curves and I'm going to add some blue and I'm gonna change the hue of the blacks and then I'm going to put a middle point over here and then I'm going to get a reds and I'm going to add a little bit more cyan and freeze the reds to create this uh, bluish type of, you know, bluish type of tint. I think it's a little bit too much of a blue. Now, if this was affecting the whole image, I can always go to my LumiZone program and say, you know what? I need you to just create a mask based on zone one. If I check this out and I zoom in, this is only affecting certain parts of the image. If I add the zone number zero, it will add the blacks. So now I've got that shift in black as well. So these two little tools are very useful if you want to color grade or color tint or make your luminosity masks in your image and want to have total or maximum control in how your color is affecting your image. So there you have it guys, two small tools that will help you out tremendously when you try to color grade or tint or create your mask on your image. If you wanna get your hands on this, I'll leave the link of the website where you can get it under the description. There's also a promo code, which is this one over here. With that, you have a 15% discount and whatever of the three or the three of them, if you wanna buy them all together so you can start working with it right away. As always, if you like this video, please share, please subscribe, please hit the like button, and I will be seeing you on the next video. Thank you very much for joining, and you'll have a very good day.